All right, set your feet on the floor, knees are bent. I want you to cross your right leg over your left and then use your right leg to pull your left leg across. So all the legs are dropping to the right. They don't necessarily touch the floor. Shoulder blades stay connected. Nice big twist that goes down through the obliques into the hip there. Stay here. I'm gonna lead a stretch if you can stay. And then bring those legs up to center. Switch, left leg will be on top. Drop your legs to the left. Shoulder blades stay connected. If this is too intense, you can drop your knees to the side like we did earlier. You don't have to have the legs crossed. This deepens that a little bit. Moves the stretch a bit. Makes it a little more intense. and bring the legs back up to center. All right, I want you to roll over so that you're on hands and knees to start. <clears throat> All right, I want you to walk your hands forward, sit back into a child's pose position, but mostly, and I don't know what this is called in yoga, I want you to bring your chest and your armpits down toward the floor. So it's less of a child's pose, more of a stretch through the front and the back of your arms there. Head can be on the floor or not. And come back up the hands and knees. All right, take one leg, bring it up between your hands and then externally rotate it. So my right foot is going under my left hip and then you're gonna sit, this is pigeon. I know this much, cause this is one of my favorites. Me too. <laughs> the first time it did it, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I like to sit really tall in this. Some people like to lay forward over that front leg you can choose what you need. Now, if you wanna deepen it, your back foot, turn the toes under and then lift that leg off the floor an inch. It's very straight. I'm pushing through the heel and into the toes there and that will open that hip flexor up in the front of your hip a lot. Optional, can be too intense for some people. All right, switching sides. Other leg. I usually notice a big imbalance on this. One side is always tighter than the other. Optional to tuck the toes on the back leg and lift that leg a little bit off the floor. Nice and tall if you're upright. And relax, let's go ahead and sit. Cross-legged, sit comfortably. All right, bring your right arm across the body, reach across the body, use the left hand to grab it, pull it gently toward you. And then shake that out, switch, left arm across. Right hand grabs it, gently pull it in. Relax there, hands behind you, fingertips pointed away, always with the chest stretch here. Shoulder blades pressed together, chest forward and up. Relax there, we'll get hamstrings, extend the legs straight out in front of you. 
flex the ankles and now lean forward into your straight legs. Try to reach the top of your head toward your toes. So be long through the spine. So go long, then low and use your hands however you need to. Some people like to reach for their feet. Some people like to rest those hands on the floor or on their legs. And go ahead and sit yourself up. And we're all finished for today. Thank you.